and welcome back. I hope you are all doing very well. I am Dan and I like to escape on my bike. But today I'm stuck inside because I wanted to talk about hydration. When I go riding, I tend to get very dehydrated and it causes migraines. So I have to keep quite a bit of water with me when I go riding. So even when I'm hiking, I've always used something like this, a camel back. But I wanted to talk about using a hydration bladder that goes around your waist and in a hip pack. But before we get on with today's episode, I kind of like to ask you to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel as it helps a lot, and leave a comment if you'd like. But yeah, let's get on to today's episode. So when I go hiking, I tend to use this thing here. This is a three liter hydration bladder, especially on those like long hikes. If it's a sunny hot day, I can go through three liters easily with one of these when I'm hiking. Because I've been using Camelback, my first choice was to go with this Camelback hydration bladder, and it comes with a 1.5 litre that sits inside and it goes around your waist when you're riding which is quite good because you don't have a lot of weight on your shoulders and you haven't got a bag on your back which creates a lot of sweat. So these are really handy. I wanted to talk about this one here which is Rocky Rider and it's a 4 litre hip pack with a 1.5 litre hydration bladder and altogether this costs £39.99. It was the cheapest one I found online and it's from a store called Decathlon. So when it comes to hip packs and hydration bladders, one of the top brands is Evoc and they've got one that retails for about £90 upwards. So it looks like a similar design to what they have. But yeah, let's, let's go into some of the details of this what and what I like about it over the Camelback one that I own. So firstly, it carries a lot more stuff than my Camelback hydration pack. This can easily fit a pump. So I've got this pump here, which I carry. This is also from Decathlon and this fits in here with ease. Whereas in the other one, it squeezes in, but once you've got the water in there, it's really tight. But what's cool is you've got a little pouch here. So when you're riding, you can pull it down and then it's easy to access your tools and equipment. So, you know, I like to store stuff in, so you don't have to take the bag off. You can swing it around and you've got like access to here. You can put your chain link and all your mucky gear in here. And you can put like your phone there, some tools. You know, it's really easy to access. I haven't tested it out in the full blazing rain yet, so I don't know how water resilient it is, but I've been riding with this for, for like quite a few months now, probably about nearly a, almost a year. And yeah, I. Been using it all the time. I grab it more so than I do over my Camelback. The Camelback is just in case I go with someone else and they haven't got one and they can borrow that. It's got like a nice netted pocket here so you know if you on a non-wet day or you just want to put some rubbish in there that you found on the trail you can hide that in there. It's got a zip pocket here so if you look there because I'm quite a sensitive soul I put gel pouches in there or you could put like some little snack bars and things like that. And then the internal pocket here, it's got a big opening. So it's really big. You can fit a lot of stuff in. It's got a clip to hold the hydration bladder. What I don't like about this one over my Camelback is it, in that one, it's got a separate pouch to keep the water bladder in. So it's quite nice that you can keep the hydration bladder there and then have a separate pouch there for all your gear. It's got a hole there. So that's where the tube will come out and then it will wrap around and then you can feed it underneath. So the pipe goes underneath. This is the magnet. It's like that and it will clip onto the hose. And then once you're done with it, you just place it there and it will hold it. One thing I would say is this is very fiddly. Um, I've got this same contraption on my Camelback and that works really nicely. But this one, it holds there, but it's not really secure. You have to kind of fiddle around so it feels fully in there. You know, it doesn't seat properly in there, which is a bit annoying because I've been riding once, had a sit while I'm riding, put it back. And then because it's not been placed in properly, it just falls out and then this hose starts dangling. I don't know how long it's going to last for uh, over wear and tear. It doesn't feel durable. Something like my Patagonia black hole bag, that is really solid. So, you know, Whereas this, um, I don't know the longevity of it, but again, I've been using it on all my rides. So if I'm going on something really long, I'll take this with me and it's been holding up pretty well. So in terms of breathability on the back, it's kind of got a similar 
pattern to the Evoque bag from what I've seen online. Um, you know, I haven't noticed it sweating that much and yeah, it's, it's, it feels pretty comfortable when it's on. It's nice and padded and it's got like a breathable mesh there. So, you know, air, it, they'll never be 100% breathable, but you know, it means it's not fully sitting on your back. So when I'm using this when riding and hitting jumps and doing some rougher terrain, I haven't really noticed it that much, which is quite nice. And that goes for both the Camelback and this one. When I've been riding with them fully weighted out, I haven't noticed them and that's been a good sign. Whereas when I've worn a backpack in the past, it just gets annoying, digging into your shoulders, lots of sweat on your back. But, you know, having a hip pack has been amazing and if you're riding and you want to carry some extra water with you, especially as we're going into the summer months now, this will be a great accessory to add to your riding kit and bring with you on those hot days where you need a bit of extra water. I've noticed in here, so these dividers here, it's already st the stitching started to come away. So where I put my phone in, you know, and separate it with a multi-tool, it's starting to rip. So that's not a good sign. And also having no way to tie these down. If I look at the Evoque one, they have a nice Velcro strap, which looks really plush and it, you can get a nice adjustment there. Whereas this, you've only got this to adjust and that's it really. There has been times on rides where it starts to get loose and then starts jumping about when I'm hitting jumps, which is a bit annoying, but obviously you just quickly yank it up and tie it. So that's where, the Camelback system, it's got this nice little Velcro strap which takes in all the excess and it won't unravel as easily. So moving on to the hydration bladder, there's not much to it in terms of mechanisms. This just clips on, it's a straw. If you take that off, water's all gonna leak out. It's open. Um, again, I don't know how foolproof it is, it might leak. Uh, whereas I know the Camelbacks are pretty solid. So this is the Camelback one. It's got this burly lid here. You know, once you know that's on, it's clamped off. And what I do like about this one is you can move it around without the water spilling, without the hose connected. This, you've got the hose dangling everywhere, so you've got to like wrap it up. You know, just the little annoyances. Uh, also, the mechanism for this, I don't feel like the water comes out that nicely compared to the Camelbacks. Um, you have to bite down on it and really suck hard tend to use the Camelback one more and I've been putting it in this Rocky Rider bag, but I find this works better with it because of the way the hose goes. I do like that it folds around, so this goes into the side arms. So it, it kind of folds into around here, which is quite nice. I do like that this doesn't become as bulky when it's full up to 1.5 liters because of these extra arms. So it allows you to put extra accessories to go in the main pouch. So yeah, that's been the Rocky Rider four liter hip pack with hydration bladder. I've been using it on all my rides and it's been performing really well. Um, there are a few niggles here and there and also I don't know about the longevity of it. So if you wanna know about that, then follow me on my Instagram at Dan Escapes and I'll keep you notified if this does eventually give up the coast. But yeah, it's a great little pouch for £39.99. Let me know, do you ride with a hip pack? I've been loving riding with one, especially having that extra amount of water with me. And I'd probably start taking one on my longer road rides, which will be handy. I like having it and not having weight on my shoulders. I can carry my GoPro in here. I can carry extra batteries for that as well. I've even carried a mini tripod and the pump with this as well, and a full hydration bladder. By limiting the size of your pack means you have to pack sensibly and only carry the essentials that you need. But yeah, that's it for today's episode. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Would you run a hip pack? What's your preferred method? Have you tried the Evoc? Do you like that one as well? I might get one just to try it out for this channel and let you know what I think. Let me know if you also want me to do a little review of this Camelback one. That would be quite a good one as well if you're thinking of getting this one. Again, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel as it helps a lot and I appreciate it so much. Hope you're all staying safe, staying positive, having fun, and I shall see you in the next one.